Yeah, right here. Where? Coming over in the southbound lane. 63, your main dispatcher is putting rescue. Let's go, Ken. And engine 63 on the call. No, it's, it's upright. You're welcome, 63 first. Engine 63 on the call. I acknowledge North Carolina, uh, North Carolina Road and Dr. Martin Lucy King Boulevard, sir. Squad 5 to arrival, have four cars, heavy damage. Um, all cars are upright at this time. Okay. Show engine 5 2 in command. I acknowledge. Make that squad 5 2 command. Squad 5 2 in command. First squad to arrive. Copy arrival. Nobody. Uh, don't know yet. Are you wearing her? Okay, sit tight. Is anybody hurt? Yes, I'm Okay. Anyone else in the car hurt? Okay, one, two, three. Anyone injured up there? No, it won't be kidding. But nothing crazy. I'm gonna open your door, right? Okay, Command, can you start us one additional rescue? Additional rescue, copy. Ten four, we're gonna need a third rescue. Don't worry about that one. We got three patients in here. I'm sorry, could you repeat that last? Good eye in the squad, you want me to take command over? Yeah, that'd be great. Right. Still has his missed his mis drink glass in there. Cup. That blue cup? Mm -hmm. It's got a lime in it. Right here, hold on, watch this. Six one, just come in uh, up behind engine five two in the uh, westbound lane, southbound west side. It looks like this person here started the whole thing, didn't hit the brakes. Ran into the back of that one, that one ran into the back of that one, and so on and so forth. He's over there getting checked out with his kid. But, uh, I'm not sure what BSO is going to do with the rest. So we can go ahead and terminate the taxi. I'll go back to the main of the side. I acknowledge the clock cleared at 652. He hit that car at a good rate. He never hit the brakes. What's his problem? I don't have enough seatbelts to restrain the three of you and my guys. So I need to utilize the stretcher if there's going to be three patients riding with me. Well, well I'm saying... <laughs> I'm telling you, don't you worry about him. I'm telling you, you need to cooperate and get on the stretcher. I have to? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Boy, come on, yeah, we're boy, not. come on. Do you know tra tra traumatizing the sister the kids? We're, 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 we're trying to make this a much better situation yeah. for you. We're here to help you. The kids... Hey, you're going to have to go after him. You're going to have to go after him. Take the kids. You're going to have to go after him. Are you serious? All right, come here, come here, come here. Can you oh, please? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you know come on, buddy, what's your name? 
How's your neck? You get a little scratch on your neck there? Yeah, does it hurt? Okay. What grade are you in? Uh, fourth. Fourth? Are you doing homeschool or are you going to school these days? Homeschool. Yeah. He's yeah. big brother. You like your teacher? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, is she nice? Mm -hmm. Not mean? No. My wife's a teacher. I think she can be mean sometimes. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Come this way, okay? So it looks, it looks like this is caused by a, an irresponsible adult who decided to do a little drinking and driving today. And uh, didn't think twice about getting in his car with his kids in the car. Sad. Whoa, 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 whoa. you're about to get run over. Come on. Who are you? Is the driver in the black car left already? Yes. Why did they take her? They went to North Broward. They're, they're fine. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.